Um, excuse me. I don't want to bother you if you're busy, but could you tell me my fortune? I especially want to hear about my romantic future. Please tell me, will my love be realized? Your love will never be realized. Allow me to introduce you to your new classmate. This is Ryusuke Fukuda. He used to live here in town when he was younger. It's possible that some of you might have been in school with him then. Hey, do you remember me by chance? Huh? I'm pretty sure that we were in the same kindergarten class. Oh, wait, wait, don't tell me. Your name's Miri, right? Yeah. Wow, I can't believe that you remember me. <laughs> So, Ryusuke, I want to introduce you to my best friend. This is Suzue Tanaka from Class B. Nice to meet you. Likewise. You know, the girls in our class were all talking about you, Ryusuke. You're going to be so popular. They think you're super cute. Of course, they all know none of them stands a chance against me to if she goes after you. Suzue, shut up. What are you talking about? You should know. Miri is super popular with guys at school. It's safe to say all of them want to date her. Every one of them wishes they were lucky enough to be your boyfriend. They basically clog the streets looking for fortune tellers to see if they have any chance of winning her affections. Right, Miri? Will you please cut it out before he thinks you're serious? Besides, it's not like Crossroads fortune telling is real. It's a kid's fantasy. I don't know. I think there's something to it. You really think some random person on the street could have any insight into your life or what the future holds for you? Well, when you put it that way, what do you think, Ryusuke? Do you think that fortune telling stuff is real? You shouldn't mess around with things like that. Uh -huh. On a gloomy day like this, I bet tons of people are heading to different crossroads at dusk, asking for their fortunes to be told. And every single one of them is asking the same thing. Will my love be realized? I heard a first-year girl died yesterday. They found her lying in the middle of an intersection. She sliced her own neck open with a box cutter. There was an ocean of blood on the street. That's so sad. Why would she kill herself? No idea. There was no note found, and the fog was so thick no one saw her do it. There are some people who think she was after a crossroads fortune. But how would they know that? Well, apparently there was a suicide case just like this seven or eight years ago. <laughs> A girl was trying to get her fortune read at a crossroads and ended up committing suicide. Seriously? That's really scary. <sighs> Out of every place in the world, how did I end up back in this damn town? This is karma. I'm being punished for what I did. Little boy. Hey, stop running. Little boy. Please, will you come here? 
All I want for you to do is listen. I have a question to ask of you. There's a man who I have strong feelings for right now. I love him with my whole being. However, he has a wife and a child already. But you see, another one of his babies is growing inside of me. Our baby. Do you understand me? I want to be the mother to one of his children too. Only, he's being so cold lately and says I should get rid of him. Isn't that horrible? Still, it hasn't changed my feelings. I want him so much. I'm so deeply in love with this man that sometimes I feel I could just die for him. So what do you say? What do you think I should do, little boy? Um, I don't really know what you're talking about. What I'm really asking is probably the most important question in the world. Will my love be realized? Of course it won't, crazy lady! Weirdo! That night, I couldn't sleep. I got so curious about who this woman was, and I wondered what happened to her after I ran away. So the next day, I went back to the spot where I'd met her. I was the one who caused her to take her life. It's my fault she and her unborn baby are dead. Ryusuke? <laughs> Is something wrong? You've been acting weird today. I'm fine, Nidori. You don't have to lie to me. I'm here for you if you need anything. Thank you. But it's nothing, really. If you say so. You know, I was kind of wanting to ask you if you had a bad experience with Crossroads Fortunes or something after how you reacted. You're totally overthinking things. Why would they bother me? I mean, if they do, I'd understand. I have pretty bad memories associated with them, too. You heard the girls in class talking about that death that happened a while back. There was another woman who killed herself eight years ago. The thing is, she was actually my aunt. <laughs> it can't be. Damn it! Nidity, wait up! Hey, Suzue. You've been walking home alone a lot lately. Yeah. Is something wrong? Where's Ryusuke? Are things not going well with him? I don't know. That's the problem. I get the feeling he's avoiding me lately. And I honestly can't figure out what I did. If you want me to, I'd be happy to ask him. I'm sure there's a simple explanation behind it. So tell me the truth. Why are you avoiding Miri? Did she do something to upset you? Hey, are you okay? I could never be upset with Mirari, but I don't deserve to like her, or even talk to her. It's all my fault. That's why I can't be with her. Ryusuke, what on earth are you talking about? You're scaring me. Just explain what's going on. I'm sure I can figure some way to help you get through this. Just be honest and tell me what happened. That's enough! <sighs> don't ask me anything else, okay? She'll suffer less if we let things die here and stop talking at all. Come on, Miri is so worried about you. Don't do this. Oh, fine. All right. I'll let it go. Sorry for cornering you like this. Goodbye. That's it. Excuse me, sir. I was hoping to get a crossroads fortune. Could you maybe help me out? It's, um, it's about a really good friend of mine. She's been worried about how distant her boyfriend has been lately and needs some help. And I'm pretty sure he's upset because of something he won't talk to me about. What do you think I should do to get them back together and make things good like they were before? That's the wrong question. You should worry more about your own love life. So, I was wondering, did Ryusuke have anything to say? Yeah, he did. I talked to him a little while, and he said he thinks it would be best if the two of you break up. I see. I tried to get a fortune for the two of you. 
I wanted to get you guys back together, even if it meant tapping into the mystical. Seriously? You went that far for us? Yeah, just the other night. I actually think I ran into that pretty boy at the crossroads everyone talks about. I wasn't looking for him. He just appeared out of nowhere. He was really tall and dressed head to toe in black. His features were so sharp looking. There was such a cold beauty to him that it gave me chills. But none of that really matters. The important thing, which shook me to my core, was what he said to me. It made me realize that I've been lying to myself. That everything I was doing was actually the opposite of what I truly wanted deep down in the depths of my heart. So now, I'm going to start living far more honestly. Miruri, you have to listen. I'm gonna be Ryusuke's new girlfriend! I've known this ever since he transferred. I'm sorry, Miruri, but I love Ryusuke so much more than anything! I'd die for him! So it's kind of really lucky for me that the two of you are splitting up. The timing is perfect. I can't wait. I'm gonna go tell Ryusuke how I feel about him! Suzue Tanaka started to pursue me aggressively. I tried my best to turn her down nicely, but she didn't take the hint. If anything, things started to get even worse. Here, your lunch. Will you please stop stalking me already? If you keep following me around like this, I'm gonna call the police. But I just wanted to make sure that you had a lunch to eat today, my love. I brought my own food. Just eat this one instead! I'll get rid of the one in your bag! Give it to me! <laughs> What are you doing? Stop it! You have got to give this up! Look, I'll be blunt. I don't like you that way, okay? Mirari's the one I want. I have no place in my life for you, so get lost! You can't say that! What about all of this love that I feel for you? I don't care! But I'm just doing what the fortune teller told me to. The pretty boy who I met at the crossroads said I should worry about my own love life, so that's the thing I'm focusing on now. And yet it's no good. My love for you is never going to be realized, is it? I love you so much, Ryusuke. Do you hear me? You've stolen my heart! I heard they found another girl dead at an intersection. Hmm? Yeah, that makes four of them in all. It seems she wanted her fortune read. I heard she ran into that pretty boy. You know, the one from those crazy rumors? I bet he's not even human. Maybe he's the angel of death. The pretty boy at the crossroads. An angel, huh? Yeah. Uh, speaking of fallen angels, it looks like one from our school has her eyes set on you. So I know that I went a little too far this morning. It's not that I dislike you as a person, Suzue, but I just can't forget about my feelings for Mirari. There's no way that I can go out with someone else right now. Listen, I should have told you before. There's a good reason why I've been avoiding Mirari lately. Eight years ago, the first time I lived in this town, it happened. One night, Suzuwe, no! The pretty boy at the crossroads. I couldn't just sit around doing nothing while people were dying in the street. I had to find him. So I started going out to the crossroads myself every night at dusk. People asked me to read their fortunes, and I tried to figure out a way to give them some hope. I did everything I could to be sincere, to show them that the future was worth living. I did the opposite of what it sounded like he was doing. I thought maybe that was the only way I could keep more people from killing themselves. I guess it was pretty obvious that I was doing this because of the guilt I still felt about driving that woman to suicide eight years before. Eventually, things went wrong. Oh, hey, would you like a fortune? Are you okay? Excuse me, but will my love ever be realized? Yes, yes it will. I'm sure of it. This can't be real. 
These figures, they look like different girls who've killed themselves at the crossroads. And if that's true, then... I love you! I love you so much I could die! Despite what I saw, I had to keep going and telling people their fortunes. Yusuke? Oh, hi, Mirari. Are you going to walk around town again tonight? I know that you've been going around trying to help people wanting their fortunes told at intersections. It's almost as though you can't help but go out. Will you tell me why? What's driving you? It's just... I don't think I can stop until I finally caught that pretty boy at the crossroads. No! Ryusuke! Don't go, please! Ryusuke! That was him! Hold up! Stop! town am I in? <laughs> this is the intersection from eight years ago. How did I end up here? <gasps> Someone back there pointed me in your direction. It looked like you were hiding from someone. It was him! The boy! The one who wanders the crossroads! What? Where is he? Right here! Look! But this eerie boy I was looking for was nowhere to be found. And the fog that had been so thick was gone. As though it had never existed. My friend Yuko is known for talking all the time, but recently she's been almost silent, and when she does speak... I don't know. Lately I've been having trouble saying things correctly. Are you sure you shouldn't go to the hospital? Mm. I know it's weird, but I don't feel sick at all. I'm sure that they'll pass. Despite what she said, she stopped coming to class soon after that. Her seat was empty. Is no one home? <clears throat> What's that? <clears throat> no matter how many we kill, they keep coming back. It's because of this humidity and all of these clouds. Whatever, hand me more of the salt. Oh, it's so nice to see you, Rie. It's been a while. Way too long. Let me guess, you're here to check up on Yuko, right? She's up in her room. Yuko, Rie dropped by to see how you're doing. Yuko? <laughs> Honey? Why are you covering your mouth like that? <gasps> Just leave me alone, please! What's wrong? <laughs> it's okay, let me see.
might be the only way. Do you think it will work? Yeah, stay strong. Let's fill the bathtub with salt and put her in it. We'll stop this thing. There. That should be enough. Go ahead and help her get in. It'll be fine. I want you to open your mouth as wide as you can once you're submerged, all right? I'm starting to get worried. Hasn't she been in there long enough? Yuko! You okay? Oh no, I, I think she's fainted in there. Help me! Huh? Oh, what? These are Yuko's pajamas, but they're empty. Where could she have gone? Yuko! Where are you, Yuko? <laughs> Wait, what's this? to the rest of my daughter! Look at the base of her neck! Oh my god, there's a little body hanging back there! The salt must have caused her to shrink! Apparently, the creature still lives out in their garden, like an ordinary snail carrying around a pretty shell. And just like a slug, it leaves a trail of slime behind it. As for Yuko, they say whenever someone gets too close, the shell will stare in their direction, and that the look in its eyes is filled with grief.